next part of the doctrine of Zach was titled Dexterity of Hand. This is an old term that goes back to the 17th century. What it really means is a demonstration, as it would have been expressed at the time, an exhibition of sleight of hand skill, which is what I'm going to do for you now using a piece of rope. Would you like to have a look at the rope for me? Enos dressed himself as a Turkish gentleman. So he tried to give everything that he did a bit of an exotic flair. Using a piece of rope echoes one of the great illusions of all time, the infamous Indian rope trick. Happy? Yeah. Marvellous. So, in the grand style of Dr. Enos, some authentic Indian music, please, Maestro. To begin with, he would cut the rope in two. Echoing another one of the great illusions of all time. Soaring a woman in half. Although soaring a woman in half isn't really that interesting. Well, maybe it's a bit more interesting if you could actually put it back together again. <laughs> <laughs> then he would take one of these ends and vanish it slowly into his fist and it would appear at the other end. Just cut it in. Watch. Then he would cast a spell over the audience, making them believe just for a moment that you could make the ends of the rope leave all together. <laughs> and you're in a complete middle, which is really quite confusing. <laughs> then he would take the ends, he would place them into his pocket, and say, for a classic piece of misdirection. <laughs> <laughs> then he would draw you all further and further into his hypnosis. <laughs> Finally, he'd let someone in the audience cut the rope. Because let's face it, you can't trust a magician. <laughs> I will tie a knot. And I will trim the ends. I have to ask you two just to hold the rope for me. Would you just hold one end? And would you hold another end? Would you just hold it up nice and high so everyone here can see? Put it taut. Do you think there's any way that I could remove the knot from the rope right now while you're watching it? <laughs> <laughs> Let go. <laughs> now for his grand finale. For this, he'd use a red one and a white one. In contrasting colours, some people right at the back in the gods could see exactly what he was doing. And he would tie a knot in the white rope. He would then swirl the two ropes together in an uber dramatic fashion. <laughs> if he'd give a blow, the knot would jump onto the red rope right in front of your very eyes. <laughs> test of people's observation, you may or may not have noticed that earlier on in the routine when I removed my bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> He'd then grab the knot, give it a twist, and pull it all the way off the rope, and straight back on again. <laughs> Finally, he would pull the audience all back into reality. One solid piece of rope. 